there are a few strategies that I think designers can adopt. One is around information themselves, having a really good understanding of where their clothes have been produced. Um, knowing about the factory capabilities, knowing that that factory is um, available to produce all of those designs. Um, enabling transparency in the supply chain, so not just knowing where the clothing is produced, but knowing where your fabrics are coming from. Being, making really good choices about your, your materials. Also designing out the negative, so designing out sandblasting, but not just designing out that particular process, but that whole look, because even if you design out sandblasting itself, it will be replaced with another uh, mechanism, um, which also has negative health consequences. Yeah. It's really important that for those students that go, go to work into a company like H&M, that they are informed that they make it clear what their principles are and what they're prepared to compromise on and what they're not prepared to compromise on. But to, to push, be daring, be radical, um, provoke the companies to, to bring about change. They're looking to you as the designers for new ideas and inspiration. So it's an opportunity to, to be provocative. I've been working in this sector, in fashion and sustainability, for over 10 years now and the transformation I'm seeing is quite incredible. There's a real mushrooming of new ideas, more people being informed, um, these ideas being accepted as, as normal, that workers should be treated fairly, which isn't the case 10 years ago. So we're really seeing a dramatic shift in the way that people are thinking, the ideas that are coming out. Um, and the initiatives and potential for change.